Morning, everybody. I am just hitting, like, entering into KI right now. Katad 9 works at Snans 4. People keep asking. I thought I've explained it once, but maybe I haven't. Uh, maybe been on my other channel, Handy Capable. But anyway, I am just getting in here. I, I'm in here a little late, 6.04 now. Um, it's a, kind of a rainy, rainy morning anyway, and it's going to be warm. It's like 57 degrees, so this is going to be more of a driving, scouting uh, trip. Looking for places to, you know, and obviously take a you know, target of opportunity if I see a deer. <laughs> and maybe I'll may sit somewhere by the evening. If, you know, it depends on what the weather's doing. But, uh, yeah, I haven't only scouted one time this year up here, and that was one particular road. So now I'm going to go up past that road, up uh, heading more towards Greenville and checking out that area. My brother went a different way and checked out another spot already and told me about that. So we're kind of, we kind of do this in sections and pieces to try and let each other know what's going on around the area. Um, so I'm going to head out that way. I'll try to give you some more footage shortly. Um, just, just now getting light enough to be able to see. I had to actually turn my dome light on because it still wouldn't show very well when I uh, <clears throat> turn the camera on without it. So heading in. Love this place. It's an awesome place to hunt. Oh yeah, I also want to mention that I do have a, a Rumble channel too. If you guys uh, don't want to watch on YouTube, I do have the same uh, main Northwoods Hunter on Rumble as well as uh, my Handy Capable channel is also on Rumble. I'm trying to you know make get some uh, leeway in different areas because sometimes YouTube's getting a little picky on things they say, especially if you're showing any guns for some reason. You know everybody's par petrified of guns because they just don't have any experience with them. But anyway, I'm going hunting. See you out there in a little bit. summertime a lot of the vegetation they say carries you know holds a lot of water so that's how the deer get a lot of their waters through the vegetation that they're eating but obviously now in the fall everything's dead and is you know, everything's dried up so they gotta pay attention a lot more to where the water sources are now because they're not getting it in what they're eating This Katahdin Iron Works I talked about before, I'm heading up through now. Um, at one point, I guess there used to be a motel up there and everything. When uh, they they, or, uh, they mined iron ore out of here. I think it was back in the 1800s, I think. Early 1900s or late 1800s back that time. I can't remember. I do have a book on it. But it's kind of buried under bunch of boxes for me moving around a bunch of times so I don't know where it is at the moment but there was railroad tracks coming up through here and everything for them getting 
mining all this iron ore out of here. But it's all closed down now. They have one big giant iron smokestack thing still standing. You see when we first get up there. And there's another foundation to one on on the left hand side of that on the other side of the road. A lot of history in this area. Now it's mostly owned by paper companies and uh, you know sportsmen and, and women use it a little, quite a bit. Pretty awesome spot. You're up in the, I mean, not considered mountains to, you know, out west people, but these are main mountains. They're a couple of thousand feet in elevation in some spots. It's pretty, pretty cool. Makes for good hunting. A lot of good tote roads around, a lot of places to camp, campsites. If you ever want to take a camp up in here during hunting season. Uh, if you come in here during the summertime, it's up, you get charged a fee for it, but... During deer season, the, all the gates are closed, so you can use those campsites. Put up a tent or a, put up a you know a camper or something up in there. We used to do. Having this video on, hoping maybe something will show up—a moose or something. There's usually tons of moose out here, but they've been hunted probably now, so they're all staying in the, in the woods. My brother said you could. Once they started opening moose season up here, because you used to see moose right in the road all the time years ago before there was a moose season. But once the moose season started, just like deer, they've gotten educated and they stay off the roads as much as possible. You can see this a lot of times there's parallel skitter roads inside the tree line and stuff like that. That's where all the tracks and trails are. And a lot of times these these roads like this now, most of the times that they'll cross it, they'll cross it at corners and stuff like that where getting the least amount of exposure or they'll cross in a dip where they also there's least amount of exposure for a lo you know, long range. They're, they're smart. They're smarter than you realize. And I mean, you being hunted, you be learning all this tactical stuff real quick by watching everybody else get dropped. So uh, only the strong and only the smart survive, as they say. Well, I'll shut the camera down for a while. It's just a kind of a gloomy day so far, but maybe after the gate, we'll see what's up out there. Back in KI. All right, we're coming up on the gate. And this gate, I guess, is near also where the, mo the hotel used to be. Motel, hotel, I'm not sure which thing it was, but that and then they still got one of the big stacks where they melted the ore out of the, the rocks and stuff. Creeping up on it. To go slow. This is a little greasy road. It's been, been desperate for some rain so it's been just nothing but powder on the road for a while so now that it's uh Get a little bit of water on it, it's all loose and slimy and slippery. Alright, I don't remember this hill being right in front of me like this. <laughs> Shows you I ain't been in KI in a while. Holy mackerel. There is the gate. I'll pull in so you can just see what the stack looks like. There is st another stack foundation right to my left in the woods, right on this side. There's the gate that's closed now. They do have some outhouses through here too that's convenient to have. If anybody who needs to go to the bathroom. Here's a big stack right there. It's one of the ore stacks that they used to mine everything with. It's pretty cool. You can see they have uh, some information on those plaques there telling you a little bit about the history. People have a few camps around here. Wouldn't I like to have my camp out here? But the only problem out here is can't drive ATVs. They're allowing bicycles out here now. <laughs> we go snowmobiling out here. It is awesome out here in the wintertime. And it won't be much longer now, but uh, this will all be snow. That'll be cool. So my brother has gone straight that away and checked out that area. So I'm going to take a right here. Go this way. 
know, I went this way before and I went down what's called the B Pond Road. Branch Pond is, I believe, what it stands for. And I scouted out through that area. But today, I'm gonna go past B Pond Road, way past, actually, do some scouting out that way. Well, got a long way to go, so I'll, and here's a river to my right. It is very low, rocks everywhere. I've not seen it that low in a long time. So yeah, we're desperate, desperate need for rain, that's for sure. Silver Lake coming right up here, right in front of these trees, right past these trees, I should say. Part of it. Beautiful area. There it is, Silver Lake. site was I think it's campsite one or two I can't remember what it was where we uh, used to camp during deer season when we lived further away we'd bring a camper up here and leave it for the month of deer season and we'd come up here stay up for a week or two or we'll come up on the weekends depending on who had the time and you can see the little driveway right into the left here it's like five or six somebody's got a camper in there right now cool Good luck, boys. Oh, there's two campers. Awesome. Heading off this way. I had to get this little serenity shot. Drove by and saw the ducks out there. I had to turn around. Silver Lake and KI. This is where I did my uh, kayaking trips a couple of years back. I wanted so bad to get out here again this year, but... Never had the time. Always trying to get stuff done at camp. It is beautiful in the morning here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no. It's one of the campsites. Big sweet little plot right on the river. Pleasant River campsite one right there. see the sandbar at all that's really all underwater that's how low this is this year it's beautiful seeing that scenery though well, this road right here i used to hunt up here goes up maybe a quarter of a mile goes up pretty high and then sits and i face back down but this tree has been in the way for a couple of years now and nobody is cutting it down there's a partridge right in front of me <laughs> look at the right there Right there in front of the truck. Well, we can see that or not. Open the window. He's right down there on the ground. There he is. Grouse right there. I'm not here for grouse today, but anyway. We gotta cut this tree down. Cool. Anyway, let's see if I might get my brother down here. If he comes up, bring his saw so we can cut that out of the way and so I can drive back up in there to sit. Doesn't look like anybody's been there for quite a while. Going up, it's all grown up. It used to be used quite often. But hopefully I can get the saw out here and get that out of the way so I can go back up there. It's another good spot for me to be able to sit in the truck and hunt. Okay, heading down this hill right here, right on the right hand side. This is the parking lot for the um, Appalachian Trail. I'll do a swing through to give you a little bit of video of that. Yep, the 
Appalachian Trail runs right through. All right, here's the Appalachian Trail parking lot. There's a couple of outhouses right here. I can show you them or not. There's outhouses right there, a couple outhouses. And there's some information. A couple information signs up here. Welcome to Greenville. These trails are proudly maintained by the Moosehead Riders. So that's for the Snowmobile Club. And they're getting it all ready, looking awesome. Got all the signage up so far. We'll be out here in the sleds pretty soon. I got a new to me Arctic Cat this year. Uh, it's a 2018 ZR7000. Real excited to try that out. Hope it rides a little bit better than my Yamaha. I'm gonna miss the horsepower, speed of that Yamaha, but it's not all about speed. I mean, the ZR7000 will still go plenty fast enough for me. <laughs> well, that was the Appalachian Trail. We're heading up this way, heading towards the Greenville area. Haven't seen any animals besides that grouse we just saw. Surprised I didn't see any moose or anything, but again, it's been hunting season. So what's happened is, you know, it's bird season and then moose season. So there's already people been in the in the woods shooting and still bird season and now deer season. So the deer have heard people in the woods for the, practically two months now shooting guns. So that gets them all geared up for um, hiding and staying off the roads. So when you gotta hunt them, you gotta actually hunt them up here. You can't just expect them to be crossing the roads everywhere like they may do in the summertime. They certainly don't do it this time of year very often. Every once in a while you catch one on the side of the road, but they don't stay on the side of the road very often and they're, they're moving usually when you do see them. There's another stream that is extremely low. New bridge, cool. Keep on heading this way. I've never seen this road. They're just all fresh cutting in here, so I want to take a ride in and see if there's anything getting all this slashness on the ground. I don't even know where this road goes. I've never seen this road before. <laughs> uh, this one looks like it's been used more, so we'll go this way. Put some hardwood on the ground. fresh cuttings all over the ground. Moose love that stuff. Easy access to get the food for them, especially this time of year when a little rain and so there's a little, you know, a little bit of water. All the vegetation's drying up. So all these leaves that are on the ground now, all buds and stuff on top of them, they'll be down here eating them. As usual, there's this old swamp all dried up. I hate turning the camera off, but I don't want to keep running it either. This one splits into two. I think that's just a log yard there, a turnaround to the left. 
keep going this way a little bit further, I think. Yeah, this is just a log yard, yeah, turn around area. It's all muddy through there. I'm not gonna go that further that way. I'll turn around and go back the other way. Okay, I'm back to the log piles. I came in from the right, so I'm gonna take this left and go up this way for a little bit and see where this goes. I have never been on any of these roads. So this is all new, this is awesome. Some new areas to check out. Let's see what's up this way. I'm expecting to see a moose through this stuff somewhere. <clears throat> it's just slashing everywhere. I mean, moose love to eat that stuff. But kind of this drizzly day, you'd think they'd be out here. It could be. <laughs> it's because I didn't see them, don't mean they're not out here. Same with deer. So with food getting scarce right now, all this slashing on the ground. Three more out for today's hunt. Unless I go into some thick stuff, I also have the 3030 with me. A little open area here, just looking for a tail twitch or something. Always get excited about new roads. roads mean new opportunities. Can't believe I haven't seen a moose already. Probably a bunch of them have seen me though. Don't doubt that. hear me. Could be just laying down right now. Another little opening over here on my left. Looks in quite a ways. I ain't seeing any animals though. It's gonna be warm today. It's supposed to be like 57 and then like 61 tomorrow. Not the greatest days to for hunting seeing how it had this colder weather so the animals are getting used to the cold and when it gets warm, they don't want to move. So early in the morning or late in the evening is probably the best time to hunt those days. That's why this day is mostly a scouting. See this area, I mean, I never, never even saw, this are all new roads to me. Good to check them all out. I think this might be the turnaround here. brother like to have this report he, he likes hunting this stuff when you can walk through this stuff it's awesome walk and find a place to sit watch some trails here's the turnaround <clears throat> very cool <clears throat> 